Galileo by Simran, Todd, and London. Vincenzo Galilei and Giulia Amanati together had six children. Galileo was born February 15, 1564, in the Duchy of Florence, now known as Pisa, Italy. Many people argue that he had seven children instead of six, but no one knows for sure. Galileo seriously considered priesthood as an option, but his father disagreed. He wanted him to study medicine and become a doctor, because of course they made more money. Galileo listened to his father and went to the University of Pisa to study medicine. While he was in the university, Galileo accidentally stepped into a geometry class. He found this really interesting and he asked his father if he could learn geometry instead of medicine. His father ultimately agreed. Two years after Galileo had been appointed the chair of mathematics at Pisa, his father had died. Padua and teaches at the university there for 12 years. After he moves, he meets Marina Gamba and he fathers three children with her. First, the oldest one named Virginia, middle child Livia, and the youngest son, Vincenzo, named after his father. In 1633, Galileo was put on house arrest because of his Copernican ideals were wrong to the Roman authorities. Galileo soon goes blind and eventually dies, age 77, on January 8, 1642, from natural causes. In his lifetime, he invented the thermoscope. He also invented the compass for aiming cannonballs. He also uses isochronism to make the pendulum clock. He discovered Saturn's four moons, which were soon named after him with the telescope he invented. He brought awareness to heliocentrism, the idea that the sun did not move while the earth revolved around it. He also discovered Galileo's paradox that shows that there are as many perfect squares as there are whole numbers. Without Galileo, we wouldn't have the pendulum clock, which he made by observing a chandelier in the University of Pisa. We also wouldn't have many telescopes because his telescope served as building blocks in science. Three questions that our group would like to ask him if he was still alive were from Todd. Who inspired you to become a great mathematician? London's question was, why did you want to become a monk early in life? And my question was, if you weren't on house arrest all those years, what would you have done instead? Thank you so much for your time.